Hello YouTubers, GQ Auto Diagnostics and Repair here. Uh, today we're going to be working on uh, fixing the tailgate. The door lash actuator does not open the, the rear gate. So we're going to show you how you can get around and open it so you can fix it. So this is a 2012 Ford Escape. And uh, let's get to it. Oh, before I forget, uh, please, uh, if you get anything from this video, uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment the video, share the video. So that way, you know, it can help us out to grow our channel. And so more people can see the videos and we can help people to fix the vehicles and in an affordable way. So keep you guys on the road and safe. So with any further ado, Let's get to it. All right, so the good thing here, the glass works. So we are going to pop it open. <clears throat> so here, those, uh, okay. There's a uh, little Shocks are not very good. Let me put something in it. All right, that's better. So now that I can have more room, so I can just be here and show you what we need to show you. Okay. So here, if I, you can hear the actuator working. I think you can, but it doesn't open. So to get around that and to get into it, what we're gonna do, we gotta pop this cover. So what we're gonna do, we are going to lift here. And yes, it's gonna make a loud noise like that, but it's okay, nothing got broken. So now from there, we are going to kind of wiggle here and that is going to come apart and I will show you in a minute there you go there is so here you can see those those clips so they're going to come out okay great now next thing we are going to put the hand inside and we're going to manually open the door All right, I almost forgot. Before we continue, this is what you guys, the tool that you guys are gonna need. Gonna need a Philip screwdriver. Okay, you can use a ratch, an extension if you need it. And you're gonna need a 20 torque socket, okay? It's a T20, so you can use that. Uh, for me, I'm gonna be using this to remove it. Again, you use what you need to. And here is the new part from Ford. All right, so you can see it. And the beauty of this is that when we put our hand in, this is the part that we're gonna lift. So that way they can unlock the door. Now you have an idea of what you're doing if you've never done it before. So let's get back to the work. All right, so you see the logo here, right? So you're gonna put your hand here, and you're gonna go straight down to reach here on the bottom. All right, so this is what I'm using. I'm using a hammer just to hold the plastic away so I can actually put my hand in it. So right there where you see the light it is where I have to reach under and unload on an open door. So let's do it. Oh, you're not gonna be able to see it, but see, it's open. Now make sure you remove this. That way it doesn't hit you in the head. All right. All right. So now the door is open. We are going to remove one, 
two, three, and four Philip pair head screws so that way the whole panel can go down. Now it's done. Next, I'm gonna remove one. All right, so sorry about the noise. So we're gonna remove one, two, three bolts, and we're going to unplug this. And there's one more right here. But we can do that probably when we remove the whole lash, and that will be a lot easier. There you go, so you got two. One, two right here. It's a third one, but you don't need to move that one there. Okay, because that is for the, actually the, the switch to power the, the actuator. Okay, so it's one and two. Now we're gonna remove those three bolts. Right here is the broken piece. Right here. So I'm gonna replace it and put it back. In case you get confused, there's only one way you can install this because it have two holes in one area and only one in the other one. Okay? And this open has to go facing down towards the lash over there, towards the receiver. All right, you guys can see this is already installed. Three bolts, okay, this is gonna go. Now we're gonna plug it back in. You can hear the click. And that's it. Now, bring it down. We are going to test it. Sorry about that. Make sure this one opens. Great, now it's working. So let's put everything back together. Okay, one thing, make sure all the clips that are right here, because so that way you don't have any rattling after the car is all back together because this is not holding it correctly, like here. So I gotta put it there. Make sure. That is all together. All right, so now the way we're gonna install this back, this part right here, gotta go over the actuator first. gonna stay there. Now we gotta reinstall those uh, bolts and that's pretty much it. Alright then so 
all the bolts are back in. So we are going to close this tailgate and we're going to test it. Oh, make sure you already did. Make sure you clean in case you some grease or fingerprints. So make sure you clean after yourself. That way, when the car goes back to the customer, it's like we were never there. Awesome, so we're done with the zipper. So if you like the video, again, if you got anything out of it, please consider subscribing to the channel. Like the video, share the video, leave your comments below, and I will see you on the next one. God bless.